Hey there, welcome back to Lima Bean Living. In today's video, I am sharing a little afternoon in the life. We will be cleaning, cooking, baking, and doing some yard work. So let's get to it. So we are starting off this afternoon by putting the dishes away. I am kid free at the moment because the kids are relaxing and taking their little what I call day day. And then we will be moving on to getting the pork barbecue that has been kind of in the making the last few episodes on my channel. We're going to be actually making that in this video. So if you watched some of those previous videos, you saw that I chopped up the carrots as well as the celery and just threw that in a bag and left it in my fridge. And then today we're actually doing the final ingredient prep by chopping up one onion and we're going to be throwing that in along with the carrots and celery that I prepped and some water and cooking that down in a big pot. Now I have a very straightforward recipe video that shows you guys like how to make this as well as the recipe card. But what I really like about this is pretty much all of the ingredients except for maybe the pork which you would definitely want to get you know probably special for this recipe. Everything else like all of the seasonings and stuff are kind of like normal kitchen items. So if you're anything like me I don't like to try new recipes if they require me to get ingredients that I don't normally get because if I don't like that ingredient as it's like component in a meal now I'm stuck with like a big container of it and I feel like I wasted it. But this recipe, you know, just kind of uses ingredients that I usually keep on hand anyway. And so that's one thing that I like about it. So if you're hesitant to try new recipes because of that reason like me, I think you would probably, you know, be okay trying this because you probably have most of the ingredients already. So as you guys saw, I added in those kind of everyday ingredients as well as the cooked pork that I prepared also in a previous video. And I'm just going to let this simmer a little bit more. And you guys can see this pot is already a large pot and there is a lot of pork barbecue here. And sadly, I am pretty much the only one who will be eating this in my house. My kids are more ingredient eaters. They like everything separated, so they're not really going to eat a bowl of a bunch of ingredients mixed together. And then my husband really just likes meat and cooked in a specific way. So <laughs> this is going to be a lot for me. So what I will be doing later on is freeze drying some of it. And maybe in a future video, we can reconstitute it and give that a try. And what I did with the leftovers after I had a bowl for myself this evening, I packaged some up and I'm putting just it in the normal freezer so that if I anticipate having it for the next day, I can just take it out of the freezer, put it in the fridge, and then microwave it the next day to reheat it. 
But now we're going to be moving on to making some zucchini bread. My sister had given me some very large zucchinis from one of her neighbors, and I haven't made zucchini bread in a while, so I figured this would be the perfect time to shred these up and make some delicious chocolate chip zucchini bread. I have shared this recipe also on my channel a very long time ago. I will make sure to link that video up above. You guys might find, I think it was like a bake and cook with me video. So you guys might find that interesting to watch me answering questions that I got like a few years ago and just see like how things have changed since we were living back then. We were living, I think, in Texas. So these muffins came out absolutely perfect. They were definitely enjoyed right away. And then I put some in little containers and threw those in the freezer because, you know, there's no way we're going to eat all these muffins all at once. And when you freeze the muffins, when they then come out and defrost, they're still very moist and just super delicious. So that is why I really tend to like not hold back with my recipes. Sometimes I might double up because I know that I'm doing all the baking all at once, but it will last me a really long time, especially if I obviously put them in the freezer and keep them good for, you know, a few months. And then even after using, you know, some of the zucchinis that my sister gave me, I still had a lot left over. So I figured that, you know, I had all this stuff kind of dirty anyways, I might as well shred up the rest of the zucchini. And it ended up being like exactly one recipe's worth. So what I figured was I will go ahead and try freeze drying this shredded zucchini and then in the future, I can just go ahead and pour it all out into my ingredients and it will rehydrate itself. And, you know, we can kind of give it a try of making this bread, but with freeze dried zucchini instead of fresh zucchini and see how that turns out in a future video. Okay, now we are moving on outside. We finished cleaning up in the kitchen and I wanted to make sure my chickens were doing okay. So I'm heading on outside with a bag of ice blocks that I made and filling up their water container with these huge ice blocks and giving the birds some of the scraps from my work in the kitchen. And I have to note, I filmed this video actually before my last video where I talk about like my Easter egg or laying a green egg for the first time and our other chicken cookies and cream not doing so well. And it's kind of sad. She is a lot more lively in this video, but she unfortunately is no longer with us. One of my viewers actually asked, since Aubrey is such a lover of birds, how does she do when our birds die? And I'm pleased that she's she doesn't take it too hard. You know, I with cookies and cream, at least, we were kind of warning her, like, you know, you got to say your goodbyes and if anything, I think she just wants to keep all of their feathers and then she's happy. <laughs> but, you know, when a, a chicken dies naturally, I don't really want her to keep the feathers because there could, you know, be bugs on there or just bad germs or whatever. But when we had our, you know, rooster become useless junior to useful dinner, my mother-in-law made sure to save all of the feathers and Aubrey has this big bag of feathers and she's super happy about it. So, you know, she kind of copes with it that way. And I think she would probably be more sad if we had maybe like a pet canary. And if that bird died, I actually think she would be more sad about it. But anyways, we're moving back to the kitchen to prepare some of our freeze dryer trays. I had previously prepared some little strawberry and peach yogurt dollops on some parchment paper. So I'm just transferring those to our freeze dryer trays. And then I'm also transferring some sliced cucumber with some ranch seasoning and they're frozen. So I'm just kind of replacing them on the parchment paper and layering them up so that I can get more done with this cycle. Now I have to admit, when these came out, I really wasn't a fan of the cucumber. They were very thin, so that tells me if I were to do this again, I'd have to cut much thicker slices of the cucumber. And I really didn't taste much of the ranch seasoning, so I don't know if that is something that I should do more of, or just do maybe after freeze drying it. But like I said, I really wasn't a fan of the cucumber. The yogurt drops really did turn out well though. That was one thing that I was very pleased with. And like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I'm also planning on freeze drying some of my pork barbecue that I made. And what I'm doing is actually measuring out using my food scale exactly how much pork barbecue I'm actually adding to this tray. 
And then when the whole cycle is done, I can weigh the tray and the contents that remains after all the moisture has been sucked out and determine exactly how much water I would need to add to reconstitute this meal. Let me know down below in the comments if reconstituting this meal is something you would like to see. So my tray of pork barbecue, my tray of shredded zucchini, that's getting frozen in the freezer so that I can freeze dry that along with the other trays that I prepped the following day. And the delicious zucchini bread has been packed up and stored in various ways so that none of it will go bad. <laughs> some is on the counter, some is in the fridge, as well as in the freezer. But we are going to wrap up this evening by doing some yard work. I find cutting the lawn and edging the lawn to be like very therapeutic. <laughs> I really like watching like how drastic the change is from, you know, the crazy grass to a nice cut lawn. And this is kind of my break from the kids. When Juan gets home I'm often like okay you can hang out with them I don't care you know usually they like watch tv or something but I can be kid free and I'm still doing work but it is kind of like a mental break for me and it's really nice to you know take something that is like unhinged and wild and just kind of tame it and make it look really nice but anyways that wraps up today's video I really hope you guys enjoyed following along in the kitchen as well as outside if you are new here I would love it if you stick around and subscribe and check out all of my motherhood content and if you liked this video go ahead and hit that thumbs up button that really helps me out and I will catch you in the next one have an amazing day to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.